Today, we're going to take a look inside the account of one of the Giga Chad players here in Kingdom 1568 who goes by the name Not Found. I believe some players also call him Brother Hao, but also at the request of my alliance leader, we'll be referring to him as Ho. I think he also likes to be called Ho. I don't know if that's some sort of translation thing or some sort of inside joke that I don't know about, but if he gets mad about that, he can blame Ms. Mayhem. Now, the reason that we're going to take a look at his account today is because as you can see here, he has the second highest amount of of kills in my entire kingdom and in fact the second highest amount of kills in our entire kvk he's coming in close to 16 billion kill points which is absolutely insane we have over 12 billion kill points from tier 5 alone and he's currently sitting at 136 million power and we've showed off some insane accounts here on the channel we've looked at yoda's account we've looked at mimi's account but i wanted to show you guys the impressive account of a player that i actually play with because his stats are insane his results are insane and he's one of the strongest garrison and rally leaders in our kingdom so we're going to take a look at all of his resources his gems we're going to look at his commanders his commander pairs his equipment his armaments and we're going to see what a player like this is using in the open field but first what's going on guys cheers first let's just take a look at his profile here okay we've already gone over power and kills but he has 34 out of 50 Ark of Osiris wins which is really nice kills per battle 2.4 million on the achievement wall we have armed to the teeth eight pieces of equipment on five commanders we have 56 pieces of legendary equipment which we'll look at later in the video over 1 billion units killed I don't know what children of glory is I'm not sure what that is and this is 1400 hours of peace shields and then if we take a look at the album this is where he likes to show off just a little bit okay here you can see that this rally was actually just a couple of weeks ago we have 29 million kill points from the rally and 15 million kill points from the garrison an absolutely insane two to one trade here next report was a day later same rally combination 75 million kill points to 23 million kill points oh my god bro some of the rally reports that we have from ho's account are just absolutely disgusting like it is it is crazy third report we have from earlier in the kvk this is another archer rally 17.9 9 million kill points to 5.6 million kill points now this was a rally report from earlier in 2022 I believe this is when our Alliance was defending against the world record for longest rally if I'm not mistaken but yeah you could look at the timestamps here to here absolutely insane and then here we have a nice little uh open field report from earlier in our current kingdom versus kingdom we have 18 million kill points to 2.5 million total so the trades that ho is getting in the open field are just just equally as disgusting as his rally and garrison reports and here you can see a garrison report from july and i believe that that is everything if we take a look at the more info you could see that his highest power ever was 186 million so he's lost about 50 million power over the last couple of kvks and he has 44.5 million dead troops which is insane taking a look at the commander view we have nevsky as the drill master we have Boudica as the iron guard we have juga Leong as the charge captain and of course we have huo chibing as the constable has this always been called constable or did they change that I feel like they changed that I don't know maybe I'm going crazy and this isn't his only account he has 15 farm accounts uh which is unbelievable I just can't even like fathom managing that many accounts mainly because I'm just super lazy but yeah actually crazy also I don't know why he censored this out maybe that's a bad word I, I don't know if you speak Chinese put in the comment section below what you uh think this word actually is okay so here we could see the troops in his city right now we have 1.6 million tier 5 infantry we have 2 million tier 5 cavalry and 3.4 million tier 5 archers so obviously more of an archer player we also have a handful of t5 siege which he's probably going to get a dm about from alliance leadership because that is prohibited just kidding ho can do whatever he wants also we have a handful of tier four units here but pretty much he only plays with tier five units i mean like what what do you expect right like that that's this type of player he's just gonna go all in on t5 which is absolute giga chad status now i'm just gonna pause it here for a second i'm gonna let you guys take a look at his gems up in the top right corner okay that is not all of his 
gems he's got more gems than that and we're gonna go over that later in the video but jesus christ i feel so poor right now like oh my god okay next we're going to take a look at which pairs he's using in the open field for fighting and as you can see he does have maxed crystal tech because he has seven army configurations off on the right there we have guan yu with cpo okay we have Boudica with Artemisia, which I made a video about recently talking about how typically I would say to use Boudica with YSG, but since he is running three different archer marches, I think Boudica Artemisia is definitely the way to go for his account. Then we have Nebu with YSG. Crazy, crazy combination here, considering that obviously he has the Henry and he's still preferring to use the Nebu with YSG. Then we have the Drugaliong with Tamiris really interesting stuff here i think this is probably for swarming things down that's my suspicion then we have of course the nevsky with william that is a tried and true combination here we're going to scroll down just a little bit you'll see the huo chibing with joan of arc prime which i've talked about in my previous videos and then finally we have the trajan with heraclius and he did specify in dms that sometimes he actually switches out to the heraclius for a Zhang Yu Trajan. Uh, I think that's a combination that's pretty niche. A lot of players don't use that, but I have seen it used before and you really can pop off the active skill on Trajan a ton. It's kind of nuts. Next up on the right, you could see he has a Tsao Tsao primary with Honda Tadakatsu secondary. And I think the reason for this, and he didn't say this in DMs, but I suspect that the reason that he has this as a preset is for altars. Okay. Sometimes players in altars will run around with Tsao Tsao. So that way you can't get points. They'll just run around in the center and it's hard to catch them. So here I think, uh, Ho is using this combination to be super fast catch up with them with an insane amount of troops and also Honda has the slowdown there so yeah this is probably the strongest Tsao Tsao you're gonna see in the open field then we have uh right below that we have the Henry with Nebu then we have Zhang Yu with Nevsky then we have the Boudica with Henry which is obviously one of his rally combinations we have the Druga Leong with Nebu and then as we go through you see that we also have the Boudica with Druga Leong obviously and finally we have a Martel with Herald. Now, this is obviously like the cheeseburger march. Okay. This is the march that you send out with a ridiculous amount of troops, amazing gear. Okay. And players swarm you down, and a player like him is going to go positive. Like, there's just so much counterattack damage, so much AoE circular damage. It's insane. All right. So, he doesn't typically run that in the open field, I don't think. But for some scenarios where he's just begging to be swarmed, he knows he's going to trade really well. And then as we go through here, this is uh, some, I guess, just extra things that he has i guess you know we have some buffing marches down here uh which we do use a lot in kvk also we have i guess some maybe he's just leveling up these uh these commanders over here i'm not really sure these look like some uh barbarian slaying armies that are saved in his presets next we can take a look inside his inventory and okay we've got a lot going on here look at the vip points boys that's about 5.3 million vip points just sitting in his inventory okay so if you're wondering like oh my god why would they add a vip 19 why would they add a vip 20 it's for players like ho who have been spending and just have nothing to do with these vip points there's just an insane amount here which is crazy you could also see we've got plenty of gems down here now i did the math uh and all of his gems in his inventory plus all of the 351,000 gems you see in the top right corner there uh he has about 550,000 gems okay so from a gem value perspective if he was just buying those in the gem shop that would be over two thousand dollars worth of just gems just sitting there in his account it's about 2200 in case you were wondering but we can go ahead and press play here and let's see what else is in the account we got some extra crystals we got some resources here obviously he's got some resources in his account but because we are in Kingsland or we finished Kingsland already you know he's he's got a lot of his resources still in his inventory here again 15 farms okay so I imagine he probably doesn't touch this stuff too often um because I mean 15 farms like hello like he still has gold in item form so that's how you know that he could have kept fighting for a very long time in this kvk uh and things wrapped up before then anyway so he's chilling he's got plenty of resources he's doing fine these are his speed ups okay he's basically got enough speed ups to uh take us right into the sci-fi age if they ever added more city hall levels he could probably go right to star wars level right away okay like we're in the feudal age he can go from there to star wars just 
right away uh there's nothing to do with building speed ups he's got plenty of trading speed ups i didn't do the math on the trading speed ups to be honest with you i didn't do the math on the research uh or healing speed ups either but you could see that he did go through quite a bit of heal i mean like for a player like this this is not that many healing speed ups let's be honest but the the universal speed ups here are insane okay we have i know my head's in the way there's 127 of the eight hour universals here and 35,000 of the five minutes uh so he's got oh almost six years of universal speed ups all right just six years just chilling here waiting for i don't know what waiting for a massive fight may, waiting for maybe uh another zenith of power that he's really going to go for which we're going to go over later he's got a couple of insane legendary skins on his account next we'll go through some of the other items here you can see we've got some peace shields we've got quite a bit of uh expansions here for training which is definitely uh a luxury okay i wish i had that many for sure you can see we have tw 17 of the 24 hour de uh, 10 percent defense boost so obviously he buys them as he needs him here you can see 136 i know my head's in the way of the 25 percent army expansion and 82 of the 50 percent expansion and i'm pretty sure he only ever uses the 50 percent expansions i mean why wouldn't he right like that's just that's just the way to go i i just the oh my god the amount of stuff in this account is is wild okay uh he's running a little bit low on materials for for i mean for a player like this he's running a little bit low here let's just be honest okay uh let's go through and scroll through some of his uh equipment chests he's got some a bunch of blueprint choice chests over here uh just kind of chilling in the account I'm not gonna go over his equipment here because we're gonna go over his equipment in just a moment when we take a look at like his commanders and armaments here you could see uh he's got some transmutation stones and uh a ton of armaments which we're gonna go over here in just a moment and then in the other category we have 30 of the cavalry commander choice chests 30 of the infantry 45 of the archer uh, I think he's probably maxed out all the commanders that he could get from these so there's just nothing to do with them this is 21 of I don't know if it's Ethelfled or some no this must be Ethelfled right here this I think is Moctezuma which I know you think that like you think that's a joke but we're gonna go over that later I don't know what this is oh this must be from the uh crystal um the the, the battle pass okay I think that's what this is from and then also we've got some really rare items over here like if we press play we've got the scimitar right here like there's not that many of these left in the game we've got a bunch of maps here 257 of the sovereign keys again he probably maxed out all the commanders in there so he doesn't need to open them i guess i don't i don't know um we can keep scrolling through here we've got four civ changes uh, a nice amount of action points although um i think i might have more in my account because i uh, i've been saving forever here you can see basically an unlimited amount of experience uh there's just nothing for him to level up these days Eighty-seven thousand hours of resistance Jesus what is this I don't even know what this is from that's actually kind of crazy he's got two witches hat still sitting in his inventory okay uh he has 1545 of the legendary universal commander sculptures uh and I don't know I think this is a coup uh, what is this I feel like this is like a, a token for an event or something or like a discount on the 30-day gem supply what is this I don't even know also he has 20 sculptures of Minamoto but his Minamoto is expertise like how did I asked him about this I don't know how he got 20 extra sculptures of Minamoto so yeah I think there was probably at some point in the past a glitch where players could redeem universals for Minamoto and then they reversed it or something I don't know okay uh but yeah he's got 84 Moctezuma sculptures and we're gonna just take a look at uh his commanders here in just a moment but first we're gonna look at the city skins here you can see his divine abode city skin obviously this comes from the kvk shop he gets 15 percent resource production 10 percent cavalry defense so this is a good thing to be using when you're not fighting and you're basically just farming and he does have the original uh Halloween city skin which I know they've re-released at this point so it's not as impressive as it used to be but it is still a very cool city skin that I'm happy that I got my hands on as well obviously he has Twilight Falls this is a very common uh KVK one to use as well five percent skill damage is amazing here he's flexing his age of devotion this I think think was the first ever um zenith of power city skin for infantry that gave you health so this is 10 percent infantry health minus five percent cavalry attack and minus five percent archer defense 
so a really beautiful skin here i wish i had this but i had to settle for the uh atlanta skin which i don't know if he has we'll see that in, in a moment i might actually have a city skin that he doesn't have here he's got the flight of the heron this is another kvk shop skin this gives you five percent uh damage to barbarians and ten percent archer attack at the expense of ten percent uh infantry attack i believe so yeah another kvk skin another legendary just chilling on his account here he's got the top copy palace i don't know if i said that right uh five percent actual point recovery obviously and also ten percent archer defense minus three percent uh attack just all attack so tons of legendary skins on this account which is uh pretty pretty crazy stuff here you can see he's scrolling through he basically has every city skin from what i can tell now here's another zenith of power city skin this is the star palace so this gives you 15 percent archer defense and you lose five percent infantry attack and five percent cavalry health so obviously more of an archer focused player here you saw the rally reports okay his Boudicca rally is just insane and that's going to do it for his city skins now let's move on to his commanders here you're going to see he's maxed out uh most of the commanders okay let's let's go ahead and take a look obviously he maxed out caesar Constantine, YSG, Tsao Richard, Minamoto is expertise. Where did he get those 20 sculptures from? He's got Martel. He's even got Barca, bro. Why would you buy Barca, bro? He even expertise Saladin. Okay. He didn't. That's how much of a whale he is. That he literally expertise Saladin, Wu Zetian. Okay. Uh, Genghis Khan. These are commanders that like you wouldn't have maxed unless you max them years ago okay so that's how you know this player has been uh in a giga chad for years now we've got obviously alexander the great ethel fled we've got the freaking edward of woodstock he is an archer player so i'll give him a, i'll give him that okay we've got attila we've got guan yu we got ramses we have artemnesia yss harold zenobia my boy maxed out cyrus we've also got nebu trajan yadviga <laughs> yadviga that's crazy zang yu gilgamesh oh man we've got even a manatore even though it's all blurry and blocky right now we've got honda tadakatsu we've got nevsky henry we have Boudica prime we have jan ziska is not expertise but he is up there we have obviously Zhuge Liang and Huo Chibing, he does have every every expertise of the epics of course everything's at level 60 except for what is Chandragupta doing at 59 ho like is that what what's going on there it's actually bothering me that he's so close to like you've got a million experience tombs in your in your inventory what are you doing wait what are you waiting for of course we have Freddy El Cid Cleopatra Mehmed Mulan to Myris oh my god bro he's got literally everything Sunduk he has Takeda Leonidas his expertise that Leonidas bro oh my god we have William and he's still working on Moctezuma although he did tell me Moctezuma is his favorite legendary commander uh he even has an expertise to Ragnar how did that how he must have bought the daily bundles for that I, I have no idea how that's even possible uh we have Chuk is not expertise so he expertise Ragnar before Chuk that's how bad Chuk is okay uh also my boy CPO looking a little squished down here all right we have Pakal CPO he has Utmo's expertise hello he's like running out of things to expertise he's just expertise in gold key commanders at this point <laughs> like what uh we have Joan of Arc Prime we have Heraclius obviously uh he's working on Justinian it looks like and we have Theodora of course we have uh, Ishida we have Pyrus he's working on still it looks like and here we've got some commanders that you would expect him to finish first of all just do the Charlemagne for the memes obviously right like what are you waiting for okay same thing with Lubu like you've you've got the sculptures just expertise them like why not Flavius and Sargon not expertise pretty crazy stuff there I feel like these are solid commanders compared to some of the other ones that we saw like obviously he expertise the most like what again I'm assuming he got that from like daily bundles right that I, I that's probably got to be it Suleiman obviously ignored Bert ignored Tark ignored all right hasn't touched ranged at all and why would he uh we have Dito down here and of course Pericles as the newest yo what is going on with my boy Caesar he's he's tweaking right now all right next we're going to take a look at his sets of equipment okay so this is his Guan Yu and if you remember from what we were looking at before I'm pretty sure he only runs one infantry army in the open field so this is his best in slot infantry gear and as you can see everything has a special talent except for the gloves and also he hasn't talented the ring or horn yet uh, I think that makes sense I think those are probably the last things that you're going to talent on your account anyway uh so yeah 
pretty much best in slot that you could possibly ask for for infantry he's got the four piece set bonus here which is really really nice and man that talented shield looking real nice boys i know this is all in chinese but i'll be translating for you okay we have eight and a half percent infantry attack 8.6 percent infantry defense 7.5 percent infantry health and 1.2 percent all damage i'm not gonna look at the inscriptions okay because there's a billion inscriptions and i don't mem i haven't memorized every single one of them i think this is hardened though for those that actually care here we can see the set he has on his nebu uh basically talented everything except for the gloves and the boots but pretty much set piece for everything he doesn't have the legendary kvk pieces right because i mean they're going to be changing that so i'm pretty sure he's glad about that also you can see he has a talented dash Dagger, which I suspect he did that by chance I don't think he went through and intentionally talented the dagger I could be wrong about that but yeah he's got the iconic crystal in it and everything so he's he's popping off he's Gucci boys here you can see four inscriptions on this armament set okay uh we have 6.4 percent archer attack 8.6 percent archer defense 8.6 percent archer health and 1.7 percent archer march speed which is actually really nice my Google Translate here says that the armaments are combo fierce fighting uh fight and flash which obviously Google Translate is struggling there I don't think those are actually it but you guys can tell me if you know Chinese in the comment section below what all of those uh inscriptions actually are here we can see his Trajan equipment is all infantry okay he literally built a legendary set of equipment just for his Trajan which is crazy obviously none of it's talented because Trajan is sort of the supportive March okay uh and you don't really need your best equipment on your supportive March if they're hitting the Trajan that means they're not hitting all of your massive DPS armies out in the field which is kind of a win-win anyway so it is what it is but you can see he's got the Horn of Fury and the Crocs War Drum over here which uh, I do think that some wells that are running with seven armies typically they have at least one Crocs War Drum, Drum in there somewhere uh but this is definitely like a very late game 7th March optimization most players should not be crafting this but I think for his sets it makes a lot of sense um and of course again four piece set bonus here for the infantry sets uh, moving on to the armaments on his uh, Trajan you can see it is all infantry once again you can see we have 5.6 percent infantry attack 9.2 percent infantry defense 5.1 percent infantry health and 1.9 percent infantry March speed no inscriptions here on the Trajan he also has some armaments for his echelon formation which obviously is a formation that a lot of Trajan players use uh 3.2 percent infantry attack 1.7 percent defense 4.6 percent health and 2.3 percent March speed there for infantry he's uh he's missing one I don't know what you're doing there ho but you're uh you're messing up okay oh okay I think this is I think this is the one that he usually uses I'm not really sure why that is why that slot is empty but I'm sure people with a bigger brain can figure it out here we see his set on his Zhang Yu and trial of the lost kingdom I am literally nauseous just looking at this what on earth are you doing okay we have legendary helmet uh we have Navarre's control gloves this is obviously just like his throwaway set this is like this is his trash this is just the stuff that he wants to put on there when he needs maximum March speed because you see obviously two-piece windswept here so yeah this must just be his leftover stuff that he just throws on a Zhang Yu for whatever reason taking a look at his armaments we could see 4.2 percent cavalry attack 8.9 percent defense 5.7 percent health and 2.2 percent march speed with 1.5 percent all damage so honestly pretty good stuff there two inscriptions as well and then here we have the big giga chad set okay I mean this is actual giga chad this is literally I mean look at that set boys oh my god that's so good it is every single best in slot piece for cavalry we have obviously the legs and the gloves ash of the dawn and Navar's control these are from the crystal keys but everything else is a cavalry set piece so he does have the four piece set bonus with a ring and another dagger here both of which and honestly all of which has iconic crystals everything has a special talent here except for the accessories which is actually just insane if you get hit by his Nevsky you are going to the hospital okay there's no going around that I mean look at the armaments here okay 9.8 percent attack for cavalry 
10.9% defense and 5.9% health, 1.3% all damage. And honestly, uh, I know that health number is a little low there, but pretty much all of the equipment for cavalry gives you health anyway. So yeah, this is a really, really good armament set. No inscriptions, unfortunately, but oh my God. Next we have the Boudica and you can see here that he has basically, oh, those are the KVK pieces, bro. I'm sure he is a little bit heartbroken about that especially with the upcoming changes although uh they did actually revise how they're going to be doing things i haven't covered it on the channel yet if you guys want me to cover it i can do that uh, let me know in the comment section below but he does have the kvk helmet and weapon the hydra's blast and the rest are uh, set pieces set chest gloves legs and boots we also have a ring of doom and a vengeance there on the uh on the accessory slot there with an iconic crystal in it don't really know what that is all about oh this must be his rally set okay uh, that makes a lot of sense there so if he gets swarmed down it's going to deal a ton of counterattack damage uh especially if he has um henry there as well here you can see the armaments we have 6.6 percent archer attack 7.9 percent defense 8.7 percent health and we have two inscriptions one of them is golden so uh yeah crazy stuff here this is really really beautiful stats on these armies like honestly it is just yeah it's wild here is oh my god bro oh my god juga leong bro this is actually insane this is basically perfect this is basically a perfect commander and equipment okay now obviously uh, he moves around these sets so right now um the best stuff he has is on his Jugalong, probably because of lost canyon and also sunset canyon we're not doing open field fighting right now we're not at war so he probably has Jugalong as primary in his canyon lineup and in which case he would want to have his best gear on there he probably puts this on his Boudica when he's rallying that's my suspicion but as you can see everything is a set piece it's all uh talented it is all got an iconic crystal and even the ring and horn have the special talent so if you see this rally coming at your pass or your fort you could pretty much guarantee that it will burn okay i mean the, if this if it's getting reinforcements you're not winning there's just no way uh we have 6.2 percent archer attack 10 percent archer defense 3.7 percent archer health and one percent of all damage here next we move on to his huo chibing and this is another insane set literally everything here is special talented except for the ring and the horn so obviously we've got sort of a split archer cavalry main here because even his nevsky set was insane right uh so pretty much I, i'm pretty sure he is a rally lead no matter what if it's cavalry or archers um i don't think he has a infantry rally if i remember correctly i don't believe so but yeah because he doesn't have a call or tarik so he can't but uh besides that yeah he is insane for rallying here we've got obviously everything is talented he has the legs and the gloves from the crystal keys the rest are set pieces and uh yeah overall just another giga chad lineup here on his huo jibing and for armaments we have two inscriptions and a 5.1 percent cab attack nine percent defense 11.4 percent health and 2.6 percent march speed so my boy is cruise and that is so much health for this army oh my god and here he's gonna show off that uh he even has like the talented peter sickle like really okay he's got basically uh talented perfect farming everything okay uh he doesn't have the legendary farmer sets i don't think another talented peter sickle oh my god uh but yeah pretty much everything here is is finished off it's it's basically perfect everything is looking good now i did ask him a couple of questions i did want to learn a little bit more about our boy ho or not found okay i asked if he had anything to shout out and he said no but he's enjoyed his time here in kingdom 1568 it's his third kingdom and he said he'll probably just retire here like he'll stay here until he's done from the video you can see i played close to five years now i think his account is a little bit newer than mine but he is definitely infinitely stronger and it's it's insane um i've known most people in 1568 since the kingdom started in the scarred days for those that don't know scarred was the original king in this kingdom it was a whole bunch of drama that's why i originally left this kingdom and then i came back and he still has yet to do an ethel barco rally my favorite commander has got to be my man moctezuma but really i don't have a favorite 
I just like anything meta. I started playing only because my friends got me into it and most of them quit like a year later. That's crazy because same with me. Uh, I started playing Rise of Kingdoms when the game was like maybe a, two months old or something like that. And basically everybody at my work was playing. We had like 30 people playing the game. Uh, and now all of them have quit. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure they're all gone. Uh, he said plane is probably the only one left from the original group. And that is another player in our Alliance who is also a, a giga Chad outside of rock. He just likes to nap and slap kids in siege. I hope he's talking about rainbow six siege and not like actually hitting children with a siege machine, like a, like a catapult or something. Okay. Ho, I hope you're not killing kids while you're not playing the game. All right. And then he also shared with me this screenshot just to prove that he is buying Moctezuma from the daily special bundles. So, uh, yeah, you'll love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Now, if you're wondering how much this account is worth, I don't actually know. And I'm not sure if he even is keeping track anymore. I don't know if it's a six figure account. It might be. And if not, it's probably pretty close because he has been as you can see he has expertise Genghis Khan and all that stuff so he has been a well for quite a while now almost five years at this point so yeah he's uh I mean it, it's probably over 50k and it may even be over six figures I don't know maybe not and that's pretty much going to do it for the account overview for not found I also just want to comment on his disgusting Sailor Moon picture I don't know what this is from but it's so creepy I love it anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video I hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it and if you want to see more account showcases like this where we go over some mega powerful well accounts that maybe aren't baba or maybe they're not yoda but they're still insane accounts with crazy impressive kill points let me know in the comment section below and i will definitely bring more to you guys i always think it's fascinating to see just how amazing some of these accounts are that you don't even hear about right like unless you were in my kingdom or you went up against my kingdom in kvk you probably wouldn't have heard about uh this player even though he is definitely uh in the top one percent of strongest players in the game no no doubt while you're down there make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace